Tonight, 7 Action News playing a big part in GM's decision to remove the new Chevy Blazer that is made in Mexico. Over the weekend, the company took the Blazer down from center field at Comerica Park and replaced it with an American-made Chevy Traverse. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner did our first story on this controversy last week. He joins us live now downtown with why the company has uh, reversed themselves on this. Jim, is it public reaction? It is Dave and Glenda. Our viewers voted online in our poll, which we're going to show you. GM says that was enough to convince them to take the blazer down over the weekend. GM is closing five plants in the U.S. and Canada. The question was, was it insensitive to have the blazer up here? Even President Trump talked about GM plant closings in this state on Thursday night. We live by two simple rules. Buy American and hire American. The president took another shot at GM in Grand Rapids on Thursday night for closing plants that he named. Damn Tremec and Warren, Michigan and Lordstown, Ohio. Get the damn plants open. The thing got pulled. GM uh, backed down. I'm real surprised to see that. But auto analyst John McElroy says it's not as easy as the president makes it out to be. And people say close stuff in Mexico and all that, but it... The problem is GM's just got too many plants in North America. GM backed down and brought it down, removing the Chevy Blazer built in Mexico on Saturday. When we first reported the question last week, after the Blazer first went up, we asked if it was insensitive, and it went viral on Facebook, with thousands of engagements and hundreds of people commenting. And our poll on TV the next morning had an overwhelming response. Nearly 80% said this was insensitive. This is Detroit, the Motor City. Why do we have a car from Mexico? A GM spokesman told us today we follow the discussion, help make it clear the Blazer was going to be a distraction for people watching the game. It's as simple as that. But this analyst believes there may have been more behind the scenes. The Tiger organization said, look, all kinds of people are complaining about it and we don't want them complaining. We want them watching ball games. So the distraction is gone. The home opener, as we all know, is Thursday. Reporting live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.